What is up guys, my name is Andrew Silva and today I want to share 5 tips with you you will need to understand in MVCI. With the game's release right around the corner there is literally no better time to get an edge on the competition so let's get right into it. Infinite Storm Gauge is a precious resource but the main way to gain it is through taking some damage. Infinite Surge is actually grant minimal meter gain and you receive absolutely no meter from chip damage at all. However, when one of your characters die, you're basically granted half a bar for free, so you're getting a free level 1 infinite storm. Infinite storms provide a temporary edge, although they aren't designed as a comeback mechanic, but rather to give the defending player a temporary edge. Level 1 infinite storms are basically half a bar, and they're little more than combo extenders. Level 2 infinite storms, however, give you a real advantage, so gaining a free half a bar when your character dies, plus whatever you had before should find you a decent edge in combat. It is important to note, this is currently the only way to remove red health. Even switching in doesn't currently remove red health, and even if one of your characters is killed off, the incoming character doesn't lose the red health either. Also, command throws do not remove red health, as most can be followed up with a combo. Air throws also remove red health, and regular grounded throws will use a hard knockdown. So, removing red health becomes extremely important in MBCI as it increases pressure on opponents. Add this to the fact that you can grab a character before they can tag out, and there are now some pretty intense situations that can be created by throws. However, attacking a throw will put you almost full screen, so being aware of throw situations and setups can be a way to return to neutral. Mobility is much more varied in MVCI, so let's go ahead and take a look at the different forms to better understand them. The traditional way to dash in most Marvel games, wave dashes are performed by cancelling a dash with the down input and then dashing again repeating the process. The, timer is, the timing is tighter this time around, so it's important that you can do it well. Characters like Chan Li and Dante have fantastic wave dashes, so if you intend to use them, practice your wave dashes. However, Captain Marvel's wave dash straight up sucks, which brings me to the next form. This is a new term I'm pointing and I hope it catches on, but let me explain it. A chain dash is performed by cancelling the ending frames of your dash's recovery into another dash, thus chaining your dashes together. Characters like X, Captain Marvel and 4 greatly benefit from this. Also, the technique is fairly easy to pick up, just note it can't be mashed. If you do it too early, you'll simply whiff a normal, and if you do it too late, it's just another dash and not a chain dash. Marvel 3 players might be happy to hear this, but it doesn't mean this much this time around. Link dashes can only be performed in the air. Basically, any character of flight can do it, but stages are smaller now, so it doesn't mean all that much. And also, the timing is about the same, aka it can generally be mashed, but it's not that much of a game changer. Still useful nonetheless. So during block is where I found some of the most technical things in MVCI and there are currently four states so I'll try to be concise with each one. Uh, regular guard is the normal state of blocking and it's performed by holding back. There's literally nothing too special here and general or principles of block apply so use regular guard against people doing unsafe things aka anything ending in crouch heavy punch or other unsafe moves. Advancing Guard is like in most Marvel games where it pretty much creates a bit of space between you and your opponent at the cost of a little bit of extra block stun. This will be probably one of the most common forms of blocking you'll see and there's nothing too special here. Um, this is a non-typical state of block where you have a few frames after blocking a move to perform a delayed Advancing Guard. This has more pushback than a regular Advancing Guard but not by much. However, it's important to use against people who are performing telegraph block strings as the delay can cause your opponent to whiff their moves due to their increased pushback. This mechanic is also extremely useful against moves that are advantageous on block due to the great amount of space it creates. Um, this is what most people want to hear. An instant advancing guard can be used to reflect certain projectiles back. However, there's more to it. To break it down, it's technically not instant, you have about a 3-4 to four frame buffer window in which to input it, so it's not all that difficult to do. 
however doing it properly does two things a reflect certain projectiles and b reduces the amount of guard stun at first i thought it was like an mvc2 guard cancel but after playing around with it a bit it's far more like blaze blues instant guard where it allows you to escape block stun easier and punish certain moves that might not be punishable when you perform it correctly your character will flash white and you'll see a notation in orange come up on the screen with a small icon next to it. Mixing up these states of block will give you several advantages in MVCI so make sure to practice your blocking. Number one is by far the most important thing to understand and it's a term I'm coining as tech chasing. This isn't what it sounds like so let me go ahead and explain. To start off, tech rolls are much larger, and noting the game's lack of assists and lower damage, tech rolls are an invaluable part of Wake Up. Now, if you have to go ahead and predict your opponent's roll, well this is preemptive, so it's technically not a tech chase. A tech chase is performed after creating a fixed recovery state when creating a setup to have pressure on your opponent regardless of how they tech. This can be a homing move like Dante's multi-lock, or a move that covers a wide area like X's boomerang cutter. It can get more advanced as well. Dante's Tempest and Twister can set up a perfect acid rain trap, or Thor's heavy mighty blow will force a stand tech that sets up a throw mix up. Please note, tech chasing isn't available to all characters, so it will likely define tiers in the game. Also, tech chasing increases in importance due to lack of assists that would provide coverage in these situations. Tech chasing will be crucial in, in maintaining offense as it can lead to 50-50s, throw setups and tag baits.